All right, we're out at the home of <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. English. Um, we are looking at doing some siding. Beautiful home out here um, in uh, Bernie. Got a great piece of land, sits up on a hill. It's a ridiculous view. Um, but beautiful home, looking to do some siding work for them. So <clears throat> looking to do the entire house board and batten. And we'll probably do the batten strips uh, on 12 inch increments. Um, and looking to do it, like I said, all the way around the house. Um, probably at this point, um, Mr. is not here, but probably looking to do a conservative tear off, um, and do an overlay of the existing siding as it stands right now. Um, although that would be done, all existing or all exterior exposed trim would become hardy one by four. So <clears throat> all the window trim, corner trim, door trim, that would all be the hardy plank system. So that's what we're looking at, doing a fascia overlay. There's three or four spots of fascia rot that we'd have to repair before we did our fascia overlay. Gutters would have to come down. They're the, the older, like, pin-through type. So we haven't had that discussion yet as far as whether we'd put those back up, but recommendation would be strongly against doing that because they're not going to look uh, anything close to what they look like now after we pull out those pins and then have to nail those pins back through. So... Um, definitely do need to take down the gutters to do the fascia overlay successfully um, and that would be the recommendation paint the soffit we're not touching anything on the porch uh, ceiling there's a nice tongue and groove porch ceiling on the front and rear porches that looks beautiful stained so that would be left alone but uh, all the siding would be addressed fascia overlay and then a soffit paint so you can pretty much see pretty straightforward here just this little horizontal run up top um, this facing um, these facing edges here would all be done in hardy okay right under the porch uh, under the soffit excuse me and then this area right here would again be done with uh, the hardy uh, as you can see here's a tongue and groove kind of porch ceiling as well as up in there it's just gorgeous really looks nice um, so we'll leave that alone and uh, anything under here backside uh, this here all of this all the way around here would just be painted and then the exterior exposure would have the hardy plank on it so that's the front's pretty straightforward um is that a corner just some minor rot right here on the fascia this corner here is gonna need some repair rot repair um i'm assuming that antenna would stay um, but again, you can see face all looks good up there. Definitely a good candidate for the overlay. Um, we do have an area of rot right here. So that would have to be addressed. We'd cut that out, replace it with an equal thickness sheathing, and then continue on with the uh, board and batten system from Hardy. Um, so you can see a little elevation. So we got a little degree of difficulty there, no doubt. And we'll be careful. It's a standing seam roof, so we'll be careful to uh, uh, to not damage that in any way shape or form but we will need to be up on on the roof obviously to gain access to that uh that sidewall this little area here we have a couple of these sides of the porches uh this on this side and the opposite side of the front porch <laughs> just got a spider web in the face and those would all be done in hardy of course as well i'm um, coming around here on this lower gable just basically face just overlay in the painting of the soffit and then as we come around to back here so same thing this little kind of uh, leg right here would be done in hardy and then underneath here just a bunch of door trim uh, trim around the doggy door trim around this door and this door here and you can see they already started with the cedar the board and batten look here so really that's coming off the battens and then we'll just overlay on top of that and you can see that's about a 12 inch batten so we'll we'll keep that uh keep that system and look really nice kind of matches the garage uh over there you can't really see it probably in the picture it's a kind of a red cedar um so we'll just basically duplicate what's over there um so that's what we got all this trim under here will be uh the hardy plank port ceiling is a tongue and groove so we don't have to worry about that and then on this little addition right here really it's just it's just window trim you know minus a few areas in between with the siding um, but really it's just window trim up above same thing you can see just a rectangle up there with a couple windows there's more gutter up there that will have to come down um, that corner 
is going to require rot repair. This this corner here will be minor rot repair right there. Um, but that has to be done before we accomplish the fascia overlay. Um, you can see just gorgeous house. Really going to look nice with that board and batten on it like the garage house. Um, again, gutters would all have to come down to do the fascia overlay successfully. And then we'll make our way around. So here on the back porch, again, we got some corrugated up there, which kind of looks cool, really rustic. But all this underneath, all the board and batten as it is now, uh, will become hardy plank. And we're really just going to replicate <clears throat> kind of the system that's that's now. It may not be 12, but it's probably 11 inches. But um, uh, yeah, I think going with a 12 inch would be nice, kind of spread it out a little bit. Um, door will be wrapped. Uh, the door trim will be replaced with hardy. And on the, all the windows on the uh, on the addition here, we'll have the hardy trim around the windows and the corners. <clears throat> um, didn't really talk about the columns, so we'll have to clear that up. But I'm imagining probably fresh coat of paint on the columns as well, and the little railing right here. Um, I'll make notations on the agreement if that's something different, but. Uh, it's going to be obviously going to need a fresh coat of paint like the rest of the house. So I'm guessing that might extend to on this railing here, but we'll get some clarification on that. Uh, again, you see this side kind of some batten strips falling off right there. So definitely is a good time to get this done before it gets much worse. Um, but again, just replicating that with the hardy. Got a big massive wall right here. Pretty cut and dry good access in terms of ladders down below so we're good to go there and then this is the the monster side here <clears throat> good thing is we got some flat ground to work with but that's a ways up there it's you know at least two stories plus to get all the way to the top as you can see here see that it's pretty good pretty good run probably 10 11 20 it's probably 30 feet up um so that will require some uh creative laddering or uh, walk boards or whatever whatever walk boards ladder combination this is a little concerning right here is this these two windows do not have any trim on them there's some mastic tape back there which is good uh, for for obviously water infiltration purposes but um, that you do not want to have that too long um, that way because you, you, you do run the risk of having some serious water infiltration and getting into the wall cavity there which causes all kinds of problems so um, this wall is the big big deal a lot of siding on this wall we got little one little bump right there we'll have to inspect that when we go up there as far as is that rotten or is it just shifting you know boards pressing together that's caused that um, but we'll have to make that determination once we uh, get up there um, and again pretty pretty straightforward with all of that with all the siding here and then that little side of the porch ceiling the front porch right there that would become Hardy plank as well. Uh, we don't have any electrical boxes to worry about. They're all um, uh, we don't have those in the siding, so no problems there. And uh, that's pretty much what uh, what we're looking at. Again, it's beautiful home um, with that board and batten look. Really look uh, really look nice to have that on the whole house. And then of course with the hardy, you're gonna have years and years and years of no maintenance and and no painting. So. Um, Kind of exciting you know to think about the change definitely be a mass massive overhaul from what's there now with that uh, with that three tier kind of masonite system um three board masonite system uh this will be a big change but uh yeah look forward to the opportunity to help you out and uh hope this helps and uh um, thank you for having me out today appreciate your time